I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club. Oh, you know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Yeah. No Uber out of my house, you caught a taxi. Right my house, yeah. I'm picky with my women, I'm deciding. Oh. Call me to your crib and I'm sliding. Yeah. I'm picky with my women, I'm deciding. Oh. Call me to your crib and I'm Yo, sliding. Yo, no cap. This is busting right now. I don't know if it's because the aunt Anne's was owned by, well, not owned, but being ran by a bunch of Haitian women. But they really put it in it. Like, this is crazy. But I did get to do my grounding morning pages. But anyways, I'm in Virginia. No, I'm actually not in Virginia. I'm in DC right now. And I'm going to drive to Virginia. And apparently I did not know where I was the whole time because I kept saying the wrong place. So yeah, the trip was from Dale County, Dale City, to Virginia, Covington, Virginia to silver spring west virginia question mark listen if you know geography then you know what's right and what's wrong but yeah we have a relative with us who's going to show us around and we have our family tree so i could get some more information on that because where i came from i don't know but we gonna find out Hopefully by the end of this. Honestly, when I get to have me time, I can get back to this. But right now, they already dressed. And this all I got on. And I don't even know if I want to wear this. So, let me get it together. Oh, look at this. Y'all, I hope this is do this not doing it justice. This is the... This is the first time I have ever, hold on, let me, the outfit. I gotta put on shoes though. But y'all know I love my cream and golds. Loved. Okay, let me hurry up. I think we're kinda, I don't know where the heck we are actually. Not quite sure, but I'm gonna try and save as much fuel. Look at these flowers, y'all. Do y'all see them? It's nice. And then look at these. Like, I don't know what this is, but they're just so green and healthy. Something about healthy vegetation really just does it for me. But yeah, we're going to be um, going. Do y'all uh, hear the nature? I get so distracted when I hear nature. Also, we're going to the country to meet up with some relatives. So, I don't know what that's like. I'm actually very excited for this trip. Because honestly, it's just supposed to be like a grounding trip. Uh, a recalibration because stuff has been having me effed up also we even have like the um the full moon and everything like girl it's just been crazy retrograde life has been lifing for real for real but one thing's for sure your girl's gonna turn up so yeah love that for me damn this is where my lighting is tragic but okay i'm just rambling right now so, bye. Okay, so we stopped to get 
food. This place is called Avocado something. So there's avocados everywhere. Ooh. Look at this, y'all. The government. Y'all see how they be? I'm not gonna lie. We don't even be touching grass for real. We be so detached from nature and that's why we be acting like that. That's why city folk act like that. They is not in nature. They Leap is always to Aries, around Mercury, freaking yikes. asphalt. Bitch, I'd be crazy too. The area is heavy civil war. <laughs> um, battlegrounds. So I don't know who's still lingering around and upset that they lost. You know what I'm saying? So trying to be careful where we at because it's giving sundown town and I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> The bugs are crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I could see why people would be bored here, but I kind of like this the solitude. Like, is it solace? Solitude? I don't know. Whatever that word means. Welp, I will be blowing down on that church property. If you really think about it, Florida, like, yeah, that's a big dog. Florida does have um, grass, obviously, but like this, like to see nature everywhere. Oh, look at the mountains. Y'all see the mountains? You literally have to go to a whole entire park out of the way to see nature like this. And you barely see nature like this. Oh my god, I hope these dogs is not racist. Like, I feel like I am kind of detached from nature, and I have to go out my way just to freaking see it. I can't just go outside and be like, oh my god, look, an actual tree. Like, yeah, there's asphalt and freaking concrete every freaking where, bro. Like, everywhere. So, sometimes when I do need to feel like I gotta get away, I can't actually get away because I'm just getting away to another place that has hella pavement and stuff. Now, the downside about this stuff is the bugs? Ginormous. The fit for the dye, very simple, very clean. I hope y'all can see this. Very clean, very simple. Very functional. Listen, even if you're just going to the corner store, make sure you look clean. Why? Because cleanliness is next to godliness. I'm about to go to the thrift store. Because you know, I love a good thrift. I love a good thrift. I like thrifting. Very, 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 very exclusive drip, you know? Yeah. Now this, this fit, this fit is fire. Also, you see I got my third eye type buzz, you know what I'm saying? So we wearing blue today. It's so crazy cause like, I've never realized how much I actually do talk to myself. Um, It's just like, I'm getting used to talking to myself out loud, but this really be the dialogue that be going on in my head and it just be driving me insane. So we're in the thrift store. This is kind of cool. I gotta try it on. And then I got, I'm gonna get this. This, look at the details, clean. And, oop, I don't know if you can see. Green tags, half off. <laughs> go to the thrift store, y'all. Y'all don't need to go to the mall. Don't be afraid to get stuff and then re rethink it. You know what I'm saying? Get the stuff, rethink it.
but my mom came into the freaking place talking about some they're having a yard sale they kind of sell some cool stuff so i'm gonna go over there see what they got i'm tired like she really i was in a coma like i was sleeping good like i be usually having affirmations planned while i sleep like my own affirmations it bruh that be the, some of the best sleep ever see? it's dark but i'm still trying to get used to doing these whole vlogs and stuff like that um but I'm getting better. I think I'm getting a little bit better. I'm getting a little more comfortable to like doing them. But I be forgetting to film. Like I'm not like that type of person. So like I'm trying to do them more like their voice memos so that I can remember. But like I'm not really that type of person to like be like, oh my god, let me pull out my camera. I've never been that type of person. So like I'm getting more used to like documenting stuff. But like God. But look at this bag. Hold on, hold on. Wait, let's see if you can see that. The price on it. Look at that. She got this thing for a dollar. Handmade. It's nice too, y'all. Spicious. Absolutely not. <laughs> Microaggression is a real thing, y'all. It's so crazy. You see black people in a nice place and think that they work there, then that's crazy. <sighs> y'all, I just be, I just be, just be watching how, you know, they be moving, they be doing stuff. Look at all the jewels, the jewelry. No, that's really crazy. She really asked if we work. You could buy land while you're staying at the hotel. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Look at the flowers. The flowers are so nice outside. The gang back there. That's the travel gang right now. You smell it now? This is sulfur water. Oh, okay. It does smell like. It smells weird. I'm not gonna lie. Kinda wanna taste it. Just, just say it. Just kinda wanna taste it. I don't know. State 64, the entrance to Interstate 64. Uh, between part of 
Interstate 64 owning it for eminent domain and part of it from the Greenbrier, taking it. I still own chunks. Uh, we're not out This is the hill. This hill used to be jumping. This, I tell you, ain't no place like this place. People from all over the U.S. will come to be and AIDS. Now that was the Indian Reservation. They would walk from Caldwell down where Interstate 64 is, all the way down to their family's house, to Graham's house. The trail is. And yeah, that's the trail that Interstate 64 right. took yeah. from Mama's relatives and Aunt, Aunt Margaret's relatives. Wow. Yep, took the trail and the land. Yep, and then there used to be like a whole town across the tracks over there. It was a city. Yeah, White Sulphur yeah. was the black, yeah, black White Sulphur was across yeah. the track. Yeah. And uh, they burnt it out. Mm -hmm. And then that's why they had to come on this side of the track. Church Street. Well, on Church, this, Church Street and everything. Yeah, course, take, it, take, it, take the history from it. The, 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 the yeah. Oh, what uh, our uh, uh, Charles Skiles was a Native American, and his fa his brothers and sisters were Indians. Uh -huh. We call them Native Americans, but back then they were Indians. Uh -huh. And uh, I, your great grandmother uh -huh. w was the the granddaughter of Charles Skiles, uh -huh. and. Uh, her mother, let's see, her uh, Aunt Margaret's mother's mother was Miami Skiles. They owned the land. That's where they're they native to this land. land. That's what I'm saying. They, they were, were native this, to this land. To this and they land. Owned the land. And they owned the land. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Um, and and um, my grandfather uh, put a stipulation on his land that only heirs could inherit the land that it couldn't be sold for no reason to nobody oh that's good and the land was passed down passed down this is what i own state 64. Mm. and um, you can't see it but the graveyard is across the track and it's most of our relatives it's like a, a path is yeah, there a way to get to the graveyard and smoke drugs huh? <laughs> they built this church yes william carter which is your grand great grandfather and uh, my grandfather, William Ward, okay. they, they built it and they, they, they gave the land to the church. Yeah, this is the original, the original door. Okay. Uh -huh. I told her, please don't take the land. And uh, did all of this by hand. And it's glass. <laughs> yeah, that's, I believe that's the original. I'm not sure. But this is the, this is the door. I saw a deer. That was cool. But now I'm trying to make sure this thing is stable. <sighs> it's almost time to go home and we're going to end it with a bang by having a great, a great feast. The door is locked. Eat. I'm not going to lie. You know, I've been doing really good with how I eat. But the way that food is looking, we're getting a little bit of everything. A little bit of something here, a little something there. You know what I'm saying? Got to try it all. That'd be rude to not eat the food that they cook, right? Right, right, right. Uh, today was a beautiful day. And so it's closing to the end of my trip. I learned a lot. It's important to connect with family, you know? We can't choose our family, but we can choose how we interact with them and, you know, what we allow, what we don't allow, and the relationships that we build with them. And that's why, honestly, you know, as much as sometimes family will get on my nerves, still gotta love them. Not that you actually have to, but I choose to. Because, you know, there's so much to love about them. And also, you have to remember, <sighs> there's still people. My people's yellow. Honestly, it's been really good. This has been a 
true journey of self rediscovery because I don't think I discovered anything that I didn't already know. It's actually really freaking helpful because now I can tell people how stupid they look when they try me. <laughs> but no, honestly, it is kind of like they're standing. There's so much, so much that happened for me to get to where I am now. And that's why it's just so beautiful. Like ancestry is just like, a beautiful thing because you really realize how much had to happen for you to really be where you are and it has nothing like you know listen i don't care if you think you're poor you're you're probably not you're probably not okay um and also things had to happen for you to be who you are today and those things are what make you you like those things are what give you purpose and you know different things that help build your character everything happens for a reason and you know it's just also making me have a different sense of gratitude because it's like yeah nothing happens for no reason i am who i am for a reason and i'm going to do what i'm set out to do because i know i've been just supposed to do it so yeah y'all don't ever give up on your dreams um when you get that when you get that 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 instinctual feeling of I'm supposed to be doing this maybe you're supposed to be doing it you know what I'm saying don't be doing it because you ain't got nothing else to do now because y'all be doing that and y'all think that is oh this is just the freest easiest way for me to do it don't because I'll talk about you but if you know in your heart for sure without a doubt not just you jumping off a cliff and being like oh my god I hope so it feels right no if you know that is what you're supposed to do, can't nothing or nobody but you stop you. So, yeah.